Camp Bamboo today. Friday, uh, February 11th. They're doing the Trucks Gone Wild event this weekend. I really wanted to go tomorrow, but uh, I'm gonna end up down there today. I already have plans for, for Saturday. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Last time I went, the place was wild. Some of the biggest swamp trucks in the country, mega trucks, huge, huge trucks. Tons of fun. I'm gonna drive down there today, three hours each way, and then uh, turn around and drive back tonight. I'm hoping tonight it'll be a little bit quicker since there's no traffic. But yeah, we're gonna go hang out, party for the day. Should be a good video. Tomorrow's probably gonna be the biggest day out here, but there's still definitely a lot of people and I'm just gonna hang around the big mud holes and see what type of action we can get. It's a lot deeper than it looks. I wouldn't have thought it was that deep. the big truck look at that thing they're about to get swamped with a wave this thing's floating oh man they're about to get in the wave It's super nice too, the interior on it is, that's a good looking rig right there. There you go, yeah, you got that rhino strap, yes sir. You gonna jump off? Backflip. it now that toe strap is about to break right there the way he has it wrapped around the back end of the hitch it's about to break
of his truck there's a little wheel that he's got a, like a homemade winch back there that, i've never seen anything like that uh, it's pretty awesome it's like the ultimate off-road recovery vehicle Thing is clean. Nice. Jeez. That's that green Jeep. Can't even barely share what can't even barely tell what color it is anymore. Had to get away from the, the middle of it. It's getting real loud and wild over there. Uh, it's, it's tough because a lot of the stuff, the music and uh, and whatnot is not YouTube friendly, kid friendly, so I have to edit out a lot of stuff. I, I lose a lot of good content unless I do uh, you know, a voiceover. I figure we'll go explore the campsites before it gets too dark. See, you know, a lot of people have never been here before, so I'll see what it's like outside. And tons of camping room. I mean, these guys are out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, and then there's bigger camps. So we got another camp over here. This side. We're gonna cruise through the main strip over here. This is where they do the truck pulls. Uh, kind of in this this area over there. We got the vendor row food over here. this guy so the truck wash 
Come clean everything off. You gotta have that. It's so much mud. Porta potties. And then now we'll go to the other end, and I think this is the more popular area for camping. And then they have the uh, the big pond back here that they take all the huge trucks that float. They do that way in the back, big big separate pond back there. So this is this is the truck float pond. I think I'm not sure Saturday or Sunday. Certain at one point during the event, they have everybody comes back here. And I have, I've never even been over here. Didn't know it existed. Woohoo! Four wheeling a little bit there. That's a pretty cool spot back here. That's a cool little spot back here. I'm sure it gets busy. We got two stuck quads, it looks like. This guy almost got stuck as well. Just testing it out, seeing how deep it is. Oh dang, that was deep. Not too bad. I dig it, dude. Those are cool. Put it to the test. Again, this is our 30,000 pounds. Uh, our bigger one is 40,000. Uh, and we're putting on is a 31,000 pound strap, right? Yep. It doesn't look like it. It looks like an in strap that you get from the, you know what, no offense, but if this thing can hold up a 31,000 pounds, dude, that's what I'm saying. So this is what we do. We test stuff right here in front of people. We do a They have bigger ones. They have bigger straps than this. But this is kind of like... We said, why not put this to some guys to see if this would hold up at 31,000? You know, we got a little angle, Chuck D. It's like, it's like when you make a ladder and you tell the people, don't stand on the top two steps. Right. Like, yeah, clearly you could, but you shouldn't. Right? Uh, all right, Wes. Good to have you out here, man. AD roofing and buddies roofing. It's a, it's a roofing showdown. We already had the, the rear steer showdown, and now it's a roofing showdown. As the property values continue to skyrocket. What the hell's going on, Philly? I don't even know what's going on with this country anymore. We used to just go, whoop, 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 and it was good. It was good.
let us borrow their strap for the night, which we still in the trees and appreciate that.
And then we're going to let you guys park back here, and then we're going to say, do not turn your stereos on back here. Jason, where do you need to be? Are you, are you, are you good? You got a back in here, right?